talking to Hefner and seeing if maybe he could come over here and help us with this break situation because we're still having the same issues. We have we have the calipers, um, and you know, um, Rob was telling me you dealt with him, so we don't want to like flood him with many people contacting him. So I figured since you've been dealing with him with this, maybe you could see him, ask him if he could come in. Because we have like the calipers he gave us, but then we also have some of those extenders with brand new motors on it, but it's not fixing the problem. So, one thing I saw is that ABS is small other modules, which would be like, you know, the parking, parking brake, brake says left brake, fly voltage low or something. And also the damper has the faults for being on the bar. That'll do it. So you have to have like KW delete or something. Yes. If you don't, if you got, if you have suspension faults, like if you know, like it's not going to work. We got all four dampers like, unplugged. But anyway, the parking brake thing, I think it's still be resolved. All right, so we have. Uh, this is the last day. Uh, we were supposed to have another qualifying pass today, but that was canceled because of the weather. You know, uh, there are just some things that the track and events can't control, and that is the weather. God does that. So um, we only have two cars that are in the event right now, the ones that qualified. Um, it's the blue car. We are in the 68 Pro Street class. We're going up against a, another, obviously another 68 car, I believe Jan Bueller um, in that class. And then um, Don is going up against, I think, uh, another, another store GTR. I guess he qualified second. So, um, we have those. We're warming up the cars right now. There's still some misting going on. So I talked to Victor here at the track. He assured me that we were not going to go unless it was 100% uh, safe to go. And we also made uh, an agreement here with our team that if the track doesn't look safe and we see another rack, you know, we're, we're just not going to risk it. You know, it's just not worth it. The sun is supposed to come out around 3, 3 issue was supposed to come out actually around 12, but it keeps getting pushed further and further back. So the sun will help a lot of this. Of course, once it opens up, all of this should go away. Um, so, but again, no one closely controls the weather but God, and uh, you know, we know that he has uh, everything under his control. So we are preparing, got the cars warmed up, we're, we're ready. So we're just waiting right now. So uh, next one that you're going to see is going to be us at the line. Check it out. Behind the car with that exhaust is no joke. That burnt my eyeballs and my nose hairs out. 
Now we know what we got to work on for Texas. Getting the fluid out and then pumping it all back in. The valve body is kind of easy. We're going to we're gonna have to come up with something to hold the little things. So we have a valve body issue, so we're having issues with uh, uh, the, I think it's like the solenoid A or something. So they're having to, they're going to try to sh take the, change the, uh, the valve body. We're going to try. So, all we can do. They're calling us now, so yeah. I don't know where they are in it, but yeah, check it out. Hey man, we possibly have 10 minutes. Yeah, let me ask. Him. Out there talking to the guy, and he said, no, I don't know about that. And he goes, The minute they gave him an opportunity, he pulled up the line, he just took off. Yeah. That is part of the game. Racing is breaking. Once again, I need all. We have a bye run this next round, so we just have to go up there and trip the beams. And then in the finals, we'll either race the Lamborghini from George, you know, George Martin's Lamborghini from AMS or Jesse Freimeyer from Sissio Performance and the GTR. The GTR on the right. They're staying to the left. Alright, so that concludes uh, G Trail World Cup 2022. It's crazy, we're just, time is flying. Uh, we protested a car that was in our class in the finals. Unfortunately, we, uh, we were given a tool that really didn't work. I couldn't prove anything. You know, they couldn't prove anything either. So we just kind of shook it to hands and we went forward and just said, well, you know, what, there's no truth here. And, you know, truth has power. Uh, uh, so uh, Don Fike, uh, he got number two in the 58mm uh, class, which is called the DCT class here, DCT Extreme. And then uh, we broke uh, the blue car. The transmission had an issue, I think, one of the forks. Um, the uh, Joe's car uh, was first time running, and uh, it, it did a couple of bounces. It was like lifting the wheels. I'm sure you guys saw that. So um, overall, you know, what we're gonna, what our plan to do for uh, get ready for Texas 2K is to go back to the track. You know, this is something we try to do before this event, but honestly, we just ran out of time. There was a lot of cars. We're trying to get the Huracan back up, uh, get it up to run and running. Uh, it's running, but it's we were having a couple electrical issues. 
Um, we have a new 18-wheeler coming, as you will see very soon. Uh, in one of the videos, the new upcoming videos, we'll be able to carry five cars, have an awning, a ginormous awning. Uh, so we had a lot of coming in, but um, you know, uh, this was a good event overall. It's good to see uh, Don Fike. You know, he's been chipping away at this car for a long time, and uh, you know, he's happy to be be where he where he is. So uh, we're gonna go to the uh, banquet, and that's it. It's gonna be a wrap. So we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at the track, and you'll also see the two of us. See you next time.